Thornaway is a very Canadian company. We have one of the world's best undeveloped diamond projects sitting, waiting to go, in one of the world's best mining jurisdictions. The Renard project will be the first diamond producer in Quebec, and will be an important producer of rough diamonds in the world diamond market. When we look at the diamond business, we look at the long-term potential. Diamond mines are hard to find. It takes 10, 12, often 15 years between the discovery and the opening up of new mines. But all the time, demand is growing. There is a statistic that says if uh, the diamond consumption per capita of China uh, grows to match that of Taiwan, we're going to have to double the mine supply of diamonds to meet that demand. So this means a very rosy future for companies like ourselves and the communities in which we operate in terms of the value of some of these deposits. What we like about Renard is that it's a project that checks all the boxes. It's a very substantial resource, a world-class asset, it's getting bigger. It's at the end of a road in one of the world's best mining jurisdictions with the opportunity to bring in a power line, strong social acceptance amongst the communities in which we operate, and a very modest environmental impact. From a point of view of a developer seeking to, to build its first mine and build a legacy project in the north of Quebec, we feel this is a very, very strong asset to be working with. We've got a very strong mining team under the leadership of Pac Dan in our office in Montreal that's focused on building Renard. We've got a very strong exploration team under the leadership of Robin Hopkins in our Vancouver office that's looking at the diamond exploration potential of all of Canada. We're taking the very best in this industry and marrying it together for the best possible results. At Storna, we were very blessed to have two very supportive shareholders, um, Investissement Quebec, which has in total a 37% interest in our company, and Nico Ego, that has approximately a 10% interest in our company. Both of these are very supportive shareholders. They're supportive financially, they're supportive in terms of their strategic advice. Uh, they're represented on our board, uh, and they are both strongly motivated to see real shareholder value growth and to see the Renard project built and be a success. We're very proud to be able to play a central role in the development of the Route 167 extension. We recognise it's a central plank of the Plan North, a plan that we think is a visionary plan for the development of this part of Quebec. And also very much we recognise the importance of our project in anchoring that road and the benefits that that road will bring to many others in the region, both economic developers of the region in terms of other mining projects, but also in terms of the Cree, their relationship with the land, access to trap lines, and the development of the new park along the route. The road itself is a very, very strong, long-term legacy project for uh, all the people of the James Bay area, and we look forward to that road being the catalyst for a lot of well-being and economic development in the future. We're in the business of love. People buy the most precious and rarest gemstone in the world to commemorate the most important events of their life, and that creates a business for the mining of diamonds, which brings real meaningful social development and economic well-being to the communities in which we operate.